Knowing how to manipulate audio files so you can get what you want out of them is essential when it comes to producing music. In this video, you'll discover how to stretch audio files the easy way in FL Studio. Let's get into it. This is gonna be a really, really quick one, so let's not waste any time. First of all, we have some audio here. Very, very straightforward, some guitar chords, okay? Now, what we're gonna do with this is we are going to stretch it. Now, generally, the first thing you need to do if you're gonna stretch some audio is you need to know the tempo of the actual audio file. If you don't know how to do that, watch my video on how to find the tempo of any song or beat in FL Studio. That will show you exactly how to do that. Step number two is to actually turn on the ability to stretch this clip. So to do that, you can hold Chef, Shift and M, or you can come up here on the top left of the playlist and click here where it says stretch okay when this is enabled it does something really interesting that i'm going to show you in the next step but before we get into that if you want to learn how to make your own trap beats from scratch at home then you can do so with my easy nine step trap beat making formula which is included in my free course that link is down below go to jcarterray.com forward slash free trap course right now this will take you from creating your melody all the way to mastering your beat and it's absolutely free so you've got nothing to lose except for your opportunity to join this course because it won't be free and available forever so join right now now the next step is to stretch the clip obviously when you've actually got stretch on if you stretch the clip if you like drag it it will stretch it instead of you know what it would usually do which is just you know go out here and do nothing so when you stretch your clips you generally want to either double it in size or half it in size you don't want to do anything other than that because if you do anything other than that it will stop being in time and you can see that this is in time because when it was over here you can see that the hits are hitting each bar okay and then when you bring it over here you can see that the hits are hitting each bar although it's missing out the hits in between because it's now become a much longer loop so it's actually become half timed so if you listen to this this is what it sounds like And if we wanted this to not sound different, we'll just do that. Or we could just bring this back in and we can half it like so. So if you have this mode set to resample, then when you make it shorter, the pitch is gonna go up. When you make it longer, the pitch goes down. If you set it to auto, then the pitch will stay the same. Like so. But as I said, if you don't hit it in either halves or doubles, then everything's just gonna be out of time, like so. Well, let's put on the next one. And that is completely out of time. So that's how you stretch audio the easy way in FL Studio. When you finish stretching it, make sure to untoggle this stretch toggle. Because if you don't, then any time you try to edit any clip, it's just gonna stretch it, which is gonna be very, very annoying very, very quickly. So make sure once you're done stretching the clip you wanna stretch, you turn stretch off. And that is it. If you've got any questions or any other tutorials you want me to make next, please let me know in the comment section down below. Check out that video next. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.